They're all coming from that way. I don't know if you should put them out on the other side. Hello, I'm uh, Dan Ardy, a professor at Franklin and Marshall College, and my students and I are, are out here at Millport Conservancy studying the effects of microclimate, so variation in temperature and, and wind speed. You have the number. 31.5 right? yeah. for the bag of the last bird of that bird. We have uh, six locations here in the forest uh, where we have bird feeders set up, where we're measuring temperature using a logger underneath the feeder, and then your wind speed and direction. And we're interested in, in how these conditions in the forest affect the overwinter survival and behavior of birds, primarily chickadees, like this little chickadee here. So we catch them using mist nets that we set up just for short periods to capture the birds. So when we head up to the, you want, we can keep an eye, we're not very far away, so we can all go up there. And, just, and then after we capture them, we place on their legs a, a uniquely numbered a U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service metal band that identifies this individual. So if myself or Another bird bander catches the bird, they know uh, who it was and where it was first banded. And we also are using something called radio frequency identification technology. And so also we attach to the bird's leg a very small, light uh, radio frequency transmitter that emits a unique radio frequency that when the bird lands here to perch, this black piece here is an antenna that um, receives the signal and then is attached to a data logger underneath. And so by catching the bird once and attaching this transmitter to its leg, we can measure uh, how often the bird returns to feed, whether or not it shifts from feeder to feeder through the forest. And that'll allow us to detect who survives over the winter, whether they return from year to year, and also whether they show preference, whether birds prefer certain feeders that are warmer or have less wind, and how the change over the winter affects their behavior. Okay, then let's go ahead and start on the next one. You weigh, weigh the bird. Mm -hmm. Some of the students are also interested in how these variables affect dominance behavior and competition, both within chickadees as well as between chickadees and titmice. And so are the titmice, for example, which we believe are dominant, able to exclude the chickadees from certain preferred feeders, especially when it's cold and they might be more stressed. So we've got three chickadees up here now. So we, we think it's important to understand how changes in climate over short time scales, obviously the ones that we can measure, are going to affect the survival of the birds and their behavior. And so one, it helps us understand just basic bird biology, uh, where the birds prefer to spend their time and what the consequences are in terms of how well they survive for one winter or multiple winters. And the other hope is that we can develop a long-term data set um, that can give us insight into how the populations of birds here at Millport and in Lancaster County in general might be affected by changing climate. So as climate warms or becomes more variable, uh, does it benefit the birds or does it cause them to shift where they spend their time? And then by understanding competition among species, it can give us insights into how changes in one species that might be driven by climate might affect then the population of another just simply due to these interactions between species. <laughs>